Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. It's been a long time since we went inside the huddle. So happy to be back. I want to talk to you a little bit today about the Lafayette offense and the way they can get the ball down the field and move the ball in small chunks. And basically what I say a lot on TV is take what the defense gives you with a young quarterback, whether it be Angelos, whether it be uh, Rent Monty, or whether it be a Sean Davis who did a pretty good job this year, uh, this past game uh, against New Hampshire, is take what the defense gives you. So we're going to talk today about check down. You hear me say that a lot. You hear people say that on TV and the NFL games and other college games, check down. And what that means is obviously allowing your receivers to get down the field, whether you're running deep curls, out and ups down the field, taking somebody down the middle, but checking down the ball, say to your running back, say in the center of the field, or getting that one-on-one -on -one with that middle linebacker or Will or Sam linebacker. So whether or not you're taking that running back right at the feet of the, uh, of the linebacker, moving him inside, outside, checking him down, all linebackers have drops in zone coverage. So this week against Penn, you're going to see an aggressive front coming up front. So you're going to see guys coming up front, twists inside, twists outside, maybe adding a linebacker. They like to rush four, sometimes even three, and try to get to the quarterback and play zone coverage. So if we get a zone coverage, say a two deep coverage, you're going to have five guys underneath and two safeties deep. And what that allows you to do is maybe split the seam, have a safety get there, maybe have a linebacker have to drive for depth. On this side, maybe you take a wheel route, take the corner out, occupy the safety on this side, maybe get that running back out into the flat on that linebacker, whether he drives to his feet and works to the outside or sets up when the linebacker drives deep. So what we're trying to do now is get a good pass drop, good pass protection up front, allow the running back or the fifth receiver to get out into a route. So we're going to take that running back, we're either going to slide him to the flat, we're going to run him at the feet of a linebacker in and out, take him hard back inside on an arrow route. These are all check downs. So as that quarterback starts to look down the field and he sees whether it's three deep coverage or two deep coverage or linebackers dropping in depth, we're not talking about play action. Play action is going to draw that linebacker up and try to hit something behind like your RPOs. If you're just going to straight drop back pass on second and long or third and long and release that extra guy after he checks, linebacker doesn't come, get out into a route. He's going to work to the flat, work into the middle, check it down. So allow your eyes for the quarterback down the field, and then if everything underneath is open, check the ball down. So guys like Michael Hayes have done a good job. Jaden Sutton have done a good job. Selwyn Simpson hopefully will have back. But those guys, if you look at some of the big plays Lafayette's had early in this year, on the pass plays, it's been checking the ball down, taking what the defense gives you. And that will allow you to bring those linebackers up and hit those routes behind, go intermediate, and then down the field as well. So start with the check down, move from short to medium to long. Lafayette can use that not only as a check down play, but almost like a long handoff and allow those running backs to make plays. We'll see you this weekend. Penn, right here at Fisher Stadium, 330.